Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Right here we have the much anticipated Mi Band 6, which is the sequel to the best-selling smart band, and honestly, to some extent, smartwatch killer, delivering so many features at such an incredibly low price. So the Mi Band 6 has some very big shoes to fill, but honestly, it really does that. So this has some big improvements. The Mi Band 6 brings a 50% larger display in the same exact body size. It also has better fitness tracking, better sleep tracking, and many more features we're gonna talk about throughout this video. So this little waterproof smart band with a 14 day battery life and incredibly low price tag, like I said, it has a reputation to live up to. And so in this video, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna figure out what's new about the Mi Band 6, uh, what's unique about this, why you might wanna buy it, and of course, I will test out the accuracy of the sensors on board. So definitely a lot to talk about in this video, but let's get started with a physical tour. Okay, so looking at the Mi Band 6, honestly, I love reviewing the Mi Bands because they just make it really easy. Every year they come out with a sequel, and I always wonder before they release it what kind of changes they're going to make because last year's model almost always delivers a lot at a really good price. And so every year I get the new Mi Band, and I'm surprised that they really did exactly what I wanted to see them do. And so right here you can see they, they have a bigger and a better display now. So instead of having that little home button on the bottom and then a square display, uh, this is now an oval display that takes up pretty much the entire front of the band, which you're still seeing the same shape and size of the Mi Band here, but the display, like the screen to body ratio rather, is, is substantially improved. So we have a 50% larger display here. This is 1.56 inches. Last year was about 1.1 inches. The year before it was 0.95. We're seeing consistent improvements in the display, and this one is actually a, a really good quality AMOLED display. It's 326 pixels per inch, which means that you can really see the text like really well on here. And on top of that, uh, if you put any kind of custom background on here, if you wanna put like on their website, they showed a cat, for example, and you can see the whiskers on the cat. Like it's, it's definitely a good quality display. On top of that, the unit actually comes out of the band, so you can replace the bands very easily uh, with any color you want. You can buy third party ones, you could buy them from Xiaomi's website, or I believe you could even use last year's Mi Band 5 bands on this one, because it's going to be like exactly the same size. Uh, if you look at the back, some other things that we'll have here, we do have that heart rate sensor. Uh, it also works as an SpO2 sensor on the back. And we have the same little magnetic charger we saw last year, which was a big improvement from the Mi Band 4. Remember the Mi Band 4, you had to take it out and snap it into a cradle. Now you never have to take it out of the band. Instead, you have a nice little magnetic charger. It just sticks to the back and it's great. I, I really like how they did that. Uh, this does not have a microphone, so there won't be any voice assistant on here. It also doesn't have a speaker, so you won't have any kind of beeping or anything like that. Instead, the only way it communicates with you, besides obviously the display, is the vibration, the vibrating motor on board. It'll use that for any kind of uh, haptic feedback or maybe for notifications or, or alerts on your phone. Other than that, there are five different brightness levels. There's still no auto brightness adjustment on here, from what I can tell. Not a huge deal, I always just leave it at max brightness anyway. Uh, but you can actually go in your phone and set it to like a night mode based on a schedule so that you can have full brightness during the day and then at night, uh, after a certain hour, it's going to dim it down so you don't blind yourself in the middle of the night. I mentioned this was water resistant and the Mi Bands have been water resistant for a little while. This one's rated for 50 meters. I've gone swimming with it, I've gone surfing with it, uh, and they never fall off from my experience and they also never take any kind of damage from water, even salt water. I had no issues with these. So I wish I had more to talk about with the design of this device, but it's such a simple, small device that that's really all there is to it. So I'm gonna get into an interface tour and show you some of the smartwatch type features in a second, but the next thing I wanna talk about is actually the health and fitness features, because ultimately that's kind of the objective of this band. It's supposed to track your health and encourage uh, a healthier lifestyle, and they really improved a lot this year. So previously, I think we saw about 11 or 12 different workouts on there. This one now has 30. So if you wanna do something like a Zumba workout, or if you want to do a high intensity interval training and you wanna track that with this device, there are now 30 different exercises you can track. And on top of that, of those 30, there's actually six that are auto tracked on here. So when it comes to sensors, we have an accelerometer on here. So that'll work as a pedometer. It'll try to count strokes when you're swimming, all kinds of stuff like that. It also tracks your heart rate, your blood oxygen levels, and it has connected GPS by your phone. Uh, so if you're running with your phone, then you will be able to get GPS. It, obviously, if you're running without your phone, this still works, but you just won't have any GPS attached to your workout. This also has some enhanced sleep tracking, so they use the SpO2 sensor to track blood 
oxygen and estimate the breathing quality while you're sleeping. Uh, and this might be a good reference to figure out if you have sleep apnea or something like that. Uh, it's just a good way to get a better uh, understanding of how well you're sleeping in different conditions. So that's something that I like. I've always been a big fan of sleep tracking. And so uh, I'll get into some testing with this in a second and show you how well it did with sleep tracking. But on top of that, we also have the smart heart, heart rate tracking. So it'll track your heart rate all day based on whatever interval you set within the app from one minute up to 30 minutes. Um, if you're trying to save battery, obviously you'd have it measure once every 30 minutes. That really doesn't tell you much. So once every minute makes a little bit more sense if you're trying to monitor your heart rate. And of course, it will actually notify you if your heart rate is above a certain threshold that you set in the app. So for me, it's like 150. If it gets over 150 and it doesn't detect a workout, it'll notify you that for one reason or another, your heart rate is higher than it should be. Another thing I like about the Mi Band 6 is it feels like the engineers who made this just really knew exactly who was going to be using it and what they wanted for it. So one of the things is they know a lot of people using these are going to be looking for a healthier lifestyle. They're gonna be trying to lose weight or otherwise just work out more. And to gamify that, uh, they give you an index. It's a PAI is what they call it, so personal activity intelligence. And it kind of just uses uh, a lot of the information. So how often you work out, you walk, and, and your heart rate and stuff like that. And it gives you an index from zero to 100, but you can go over 100, 100 is your goal. And it basically tells you how healthy and how active you're being. And so that's something I really like having on here. Uh, just another thing that as you start to use it, it starts to become, it makes more sense and you start to like having it more. And when you first start wearing it, uh, sometimes you're out, like people are confused what the PAI is. But on top of that, you also have stress tracking, you've got breathing exercises, and you have female cycle tracking. I mean, obviously I can't test that out for you guys, but uh, I'm gonna test out the other ones uh, as far as like the heart rate and stuff like that. Uh, so let's actually get into some testing right now. Okay, so looking at the accuracy of the heart rate sensor, I compared the Mi Band 6, as you can see here, to the Polar H10 heart rate strap, which is considered to be one of the most accurate in the industry. And you can see in the beginning of my run, in the first mile or so, I was running at a consistent pace and it really nailed it. It was very accurate, very consistent, and it was showing exactly what I wanted it to. Then I turned around, I started doing some sprint intervals to test out how it would perform in that setting. And you can see it missed a couple of the peaks and the valleys. And I think that might just be the sample rate of the watch. It doesn't sample the heart rate fast enough to keep up with that. But then I went back to a more consistent run at the end. And again, it was accurate there as well. So as long as you're not doing sprint intervals, this is actually a very accurate fitness tracker. So something else I noticed is that the auto fitness tracking takes about a quarter mile until it recognizes what you're doing. And even then it just kind of vibrates and tells you it recognizes something and then it's up to you to select what you're doing. So it doesn't actually auto track your workouts. Uh, so that was a little bit of a drawback. Looking at the sleep score, I really don't have a good reference to which I could compare this, but I can say based on how I feel, 96 is very accurate. I, I, it shows exactly the time I slept and that was good. Uh, it showed that I had no disruptions. It, it really did a good job. Uh, granted, it was easy because it's very quiet where I, I no longer live next to that train, but regardless, I think the sleep accuracy is it, pretty decent. The stress tracking is also probably pretty accurate. I mean, I don't feel stressed and it's showing that I'm generally either mild or relaxed. So I would say, as far as I can tell, that also seems to be pretty accurate. And next, I actually wanna get into an interface tour. Okay, so taking a quick look at the interface, starting off with the watch face, this one shows a lot of information. If we tap and hold it, we could choose a different one, or we can swipe left or right to go to some of the quick options. So here we have the music player, uh, we've got alerts, so notifications, and we have the weather. If you swipe back, it'll bring you to the home screen. And from here, we can swipe up and down. So swiping up and down, it takes you through a whole loop. Uh, so if we just go down, for example, you have a whole bunch of different apps here. So we've got our status, uh, which is just gonna tell us basically what our health is for the day so far. Uh, we have the personal activity intelligence, we have our heart rate, SpO2, and either one of these, it'll, you can go in there and just get a reading right now. Uh, so this one I'm actually gonna cancel and get out of. But we can continue down, see notifications, see workouts, and again, with workouts, we have a lot of different options here, but even then we can go and see more. And there are 30 different options you can choose from for a different, for tracking workouts. As we, if we swipe from the left, uh, that'll go back because you'll notice there is no home button here. And so we can continue going down, see the workout history, our stress. Uh, there's also like period tracking and a bunch of other stuff that I'm not displaying here. But these are the apps that I have and I use. So we've got weather is another one. And this weather actually is pretty in-depth. They tell you uh, the wind speed, the UV levels, and the weather for the entire week. I think as far as uh, weather widgets go, this one does a really good job. 
And of course we can go down and see settings and then more. It's a couple other things. You can have like a uh, remote shutter for your camera. Uh, you can find your phone. If you tap that, your phone will beep. And of course there is actually in the app on your phone, a find my band feature, which makes this vibrate. But that's pretty much the entire interface. Very simple, very easy to use. Uh, and yet also has a lot of features and is pretty robust. So just a quick look at the app on the dashboard, they're going to tell you how many steps you took today, uh, your stress level, your heart rate, stuff like that. And if you go over to profile on the bottom, you can tap on your device, the Mi Band 6, and here you can change a lot of settings. So if you go down to, uh, for example, store, it's going to allow you to choose from tons of different watch faces and you can choose, I mean, all kinds of crazy designs, you can customize them. You can go down to notifications and reminders and choose what is actually going to be vibrating on your wrist. So, I mean, some people don't want to be connected to their emails, for example, but they want to know when they're getting a phone call. And that's a great way you could uh, set that up here. There's also uh, health monitoring if you want to set up some certain things. Like I said before, if you wanted to track your heart rate at different intervals and set different thresholds, you would do all of that right here. Band settings is the next big one where you can change the units, you can change a band lock if you want a little passcode on there. Uh, the international model, so the global model right here, does not have NFC, um, but other than that, there's all kinds of settings on here that once you get it, you can really customize a lot with this band. And by the way guys, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I have a ton of videos just like this one coming out very soon. And talking about the specs of the Mi Band 6, uh, it's going to be selling for around $50, so still a very low price. Uh, and it has a 14 day battery life. That's what they're promising. From my experience, I mean, you can get up to like 20 days if you're not really using uh, the notifications and the heart rate monitoring as much. But if you're really pushing it, it might be lower, maybe around eight days at the minimum from my experience, but you're really gonna be getting a great battery life with this. You also cannot store or stream any music on here. Even though there's music controls, uh, obviously this doesn't have any kind of Bluetooth to connect to uh, headphones. It's only gonna be connecting to your phone. Uh, so this doesn't have any external apps is the other thing. So you can get all kinds of different like watch faces, but you're not going to be getting Strava on here or any kind of other apps. It's really typical of a, of a smart band, but I did want to point that out here. And as far as software goes, if you're not using MIUI, which is like Xiaomi phone, then you won't get the phone unlock feature. But other than that, all the features are there. Uh, some cool things like when you, when you plug it in, the display turns sideways while it's charging. So I thought that was really useful. There is no underwater mode for when you're showering. I know some people don't wear it when they shower, but I just don't feel like taking it off and I, I like seeing the time. Uh, so that's something that I wish they did have. But you can go into like a swim workout if you want and that'll disable the screen. There's also a sleep tracking, nap tracking. This doesn't have an always on display right now, um, but other than that, you'll get notifications and you have quick replies, all kinds of features like that. So overall guys, I think we saw this coming. The Mi Band 6, in my opinion, is a very successful redesign of the Mi Band 5. I think they fixed all the right things, and I think this is a really easy recommendation. There are a couple drawbacks, of course. It doesn't have an always on display. Uh, there's no microphones and no voice assistant on here. Uh, but other than that, there's really nothing I can complain about. This delivers a lot of features at a really low price. Uh, it has good accuracy, good sleep tracking. The screen is, is fantastic on here. I think the aesthetic is really, really great for a small smart band, especially at this price. And of course, the battery life is also incredible. So in conclusion, guys, I think the Mi Band 6 is a fantastic buy. It's not often on this channel we come across something that has a lot of value and, and really delivers on what you want it to. But I think the Mi Band 6, I, it just, I don't really have much to say that's not good about it. But you guys can leave a comment if you've used the Mi Band 6 or the Mi Band 5. Uh, let me know what you think about this. If this is something you'll be buying or any features you wish it had. Uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'm Mike O'Brien. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay.